Hi, welcome to Rimshot Drums and Percussion. This is Ron Haslam, your San Diego Mobile Drum Professor. In this next lesson, I'm going to be talking about uh, how to choose sticks and also um, how to play uh, simple rudimentary, rudimentary exercises uh, to uh, build up your vocabulary around the drum set. Um, first of all, what I normally do is look for a stick that gives me a lot of uh, flexibility as well as control uh, for a lighter playing situation. Normally those sticks are a little bit thinner. Um, and the reason I do that is for volume control in smaller playing situations. Uh, then as I progress into a louder type of situation, I use a little bit thicker stick, slightly longer. Um, so, and you, you really can tell them apart when you actually get into a loud playing situation. Uh, so, um, with that being said, as far as practicing at home on a practice pad, or um, having a practice uh, one of those rubber silencers over your snare drum. I usually practice with a lot larger stick. It's probably something I wouldn't normally play um, in a playing situation. And normally, what this does two things: it strengthens your your grip and your reflexes, uh, but it also makes it so that once you switch to the lighter sticks, you can go a lot faster. Um, so, um, I usually try to get, for, for introductory lessons for people, normally want to get them playing some kind of a marching stick that's fairly fat and heavy, just to get some muscle, muscle memory and uh, train your hands a little bit more so that when you go to a lighter stick, uh, it's a lot easier for you to play. In this first lesson, I'm going to talk about uh, singles and doubles. And there's two ways to play these exercises. Uh, the singles would, would essentially be right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Uh, the doubles would be right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Uh, and the two different ways to do it is to play uh, for doubles, uh, is to play the accent on the downstroke. So for example, you play right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. played it on the upstroke rather than having the force do the accent on the first hit of that double, it would sound much different. Here's an example of that. Right. And usually that's mainly for building up your um, strength, technique, and sensitivity. Normally that accent would be turned around onto the beat so that you'd get fills something like this. So it's very useful, all these rudiments that uh, people have worked on in the past and uh, I think that you can take this uh, a lot further. So there you go with those two ideas, and we'll see you at the next lesson.